it's book check again and I have another book review um, I only have two physical books one is an audiobook so I'll see if I can add maybe the picture um, when it gets to that part of the video so the first book I finished um, recently is the girls of atomic city um, I was really excited to read this um, it is about the um, women and uh, like men also but mostly about the women who went to work in Oak Ridge Tennessee on um, the Manhattan Project but they weren't told what they were going to be doing this is nonfiction um, but it is not written at all like nonfiction like you feel like you're reading like a novel it's it's just written that well like they were interviewed by the author and they were able to remember so many of their conversations um, and like what they said really well even though they're in their 90s um, and some of them have passed away recently but like this book is so good if you like nonfiction at all I suggest you read this um, just what they went through was amazing and like so many of them were told this would be temp that it would be temporary and then they were there for years and some of them like even still live there like the the fences were taken down when the war was over and they didn't want to leave they wanted to keep jobs in that area and a lot of them were actually able to keep jobs um on site at Oak Ridge and they just like took down the fences and the like neighborhoods that had been built and they like um fixed up the houses so that they were more per permanent because a lot of them were like uh plywood even <laughs> or um like one room they called them hutments they were like a one room hut with like a pot belly stove in the middle and then that that was where you lived until everything was over and um some people even still lived in those and they just like fixed them up a little bit to make them a bit nicer um until they could live in uh like a regular house on site so like I, I know one of the ladies she still lives in in her d house um i don't know if that's like the quality of the house but um she still lives there and i think that's really cool and um at the end it talks about um the writer talks about like how she went there and talked to all these really lovely ladies and um apparently they have some sort of uh like festival or fair um like how some towns have like a christmas fair or a halloween fair they have i think she called it an atom fair and they talk about like what happened there during the war and um the work that they did uh, and like you can mess with like mock-ups of the calutrons that they worked on and then you can go get a funnel cake and i think that is just so cool and i kind of want to go <laughs> I just think it would be really fun to meet these amazing ladies and uh, hear what they have to say because I read it but like face-to-face -face stories are just so much better so definitely read this if you are interested in World War II or if you just like nonfiction in general this is a fantastic book um, I already have like two or three people in my family who want to borrow it <laughs> the next one I read is drastically different it's a teen fiction novel um i thought it was older but the copyright actually says 2007 a lot of the ones i have on my shelf were are like reprints of ones that came out in the 90s but this one is from 2007 so this is the sisters of isis um or isis uh it's about these young women who find out that they're like descended from uh, Egyptian pharaohs and they have like magical powers of course and um, like they're like obviously like tied to, to Isis um, but like the g young woman on the cover can transform into a uh, kind of bird so that's why the bird and, and like kind of looks like wings um, it was pretty good uh, I don't know if I'm just outgrowing this style uh, like this genre or what but <laughs> it was okay um I've read some of this writers this is by Lynn Ewing 
I've read some of her other books and I liked them better, but again, I was like 15, so maybe I'm just outgrowing teen fiction, you know, 23. So maybe I'm just not relating that well to it. Um, or maybe it was just kind of a cheesy, like, novel. I'm not really sure. Um, but it was a short, short book. It was a nice break. I, I read, like, two nonfiction books in a row, and while the, the last one was really good, it was still nice to have, like, a nice fiction break, and I'm still reading more fiction because I really needed, um, to disengage from nonfiction. I needed a, like, escape, I guess. Um, which is why we all read, right? Uh, but yeah, this was just, just it, it was okay. It's probably gonna make a trip to half price. I'm probably gonna read the other two in the series that I have on my shelf, and then it's, uh, gonna go to half price when they open back up. The third book is called, uh, Bringing Down the Duke. I think it's by Evie Dunmore. Let me look. by Evie Dunmore. Um, like I said, I'll add a picture if I can. It was really good. It, I listened to it on audiobook. It was, um, set in, like, it's set in England, but during the time when women there were fighting to get the right to vote, which I thought was really cool. Um, so it was kind of a feminist novel, like, they were fighting for a lot of women's rights, and obviously the right to vote, but, like, they couldn't vote if they didn't own their own property. And that meant that, um, once you were married, all of your property became your husband's, so they weren't allowed to vote. But the, the main character, um, God, what's her name? I forget. Um, her name is... What is her name? I forget. Um, do, do, do. Annabelle. Her name is Annabelle, which doesn't really fit with how I thought like the book should be. Um, that just seems like a really kind of American name, but maybe that's I don't know a whole lot about England. I don't know what the common names are. Um, but it just, her name just didn't really fit with her character, I don't think. But the book itself was really good. It was um, more of like a historical fiction romance, but pretty good. Um, like the, the guy that she winds up falling in love with is a duke, hence the title. Um, and so they're trying to convince him to get them the right to vote so they're because he has like a lot of pull in parliament and everything so they're trying to get her to kind of seduce him and convince him to vote but she doesn't want to do that but she winds up like falling in love with him and then he finds out that that was the whole plan and then he's like you know you were just doing this to get what you wanted and she's like no but then um she also is in college so she says yes that is the reason because she thinks that if um he wants her to be his mistress uh she thinks that if she does that then she won't be able to go to college and that everything she's worked so hard for will be for nothing so and she'll just be a plaything. kind of makes sense but it has a happy ending um they come to like a better conclusion and everything and she is able to eventually go back to school but the school finds out and they don't like that <laughs> they kind of suspend her for a while um I think she, she went to Oxford but the school found out and they suspended her and so but it does have a happy ending she does get to go back to school and uh, she's like an aspiring archaeologist so she's like doing all this research and stuff but she isn't really interested in digging she just likes the research aspect um, so she's having fun doing that and like finding her own way and all of that stuff. So I thought it was a really good book. Um, you should definitely check it out. I listened to the audiobook and, and, uh, the narrator was pretty good. Um, I didn't really like that it was just one voice pretending to be everyone. I like it better when, and I realize that's like a, a budgeting thing for, 
I don't know how that works, but like sometimes they may not be able to afford multiple narrators. But I really like it when they have the ability to have a different voice for each character. But I realize that's outrageous and can be expensive. But I think they did a pretty good job. So that is the three books that I've read most recently. And um, you should check them out. So I'll be posting another video probably in a day or two. Probably be in the same outfit because I'm probably going to do it right now. <laughs> so see ya.